Hello, um, welcoming you to the second part of our discussion of the PEA paper. And uh, now we are going to begin our discussion of the third question, question 3. So this is essentially a question on reveal preference, so we will go a little slow to understand the steps. So the question goes like this, that we have a two good economy and two consumers A and B. Two consumers A and B. In a month when the price of good X was rupees 2 and good Y was rupees 3. Okay. So let us go step by step. So the first situation is, let me say that this is uh, situation 1. That means for the month 1. The information given to us is price of good X is rupees 2 and price of good Y is rupees 3. And it is shown, it has given that A consumes 3 units of X and 8 units of Y. So just to simplify notations, let me write it down in this way that consumer A consumes 3 units of good X and 8 units of good Y. So A is 3, 8 and consumer B consumes 6 units of both the goods. So for consumer B, it is 6, 6. Now, before actually moving forward, let us first calculate that in this situation 1, where Px is 2 and Py is 3, A consumes this bundle and B consumes that bundle. So, what is the expenditure that A and B have incurred to get to these bundles? So, what is the expenditure on bundle A? So, what it will be? It will be simply 3 into 2, 6 plus 8 into 3, 24, which is equals to 30. And what is the expenditure that agent B had to incur on this bundle 6, 6? It is 6 into 2, 12 plus 6 into 3, 18, which is again 30. So equal expenditure has been incurred. Now moving on to the second part. In the next month, when the price of good X was rupees 3 and that of good Y was rupees 2. So moving on to the next month, or as I have written, it will be situation 2. So what is the situation? My Px dash, my new Px has now become 3, it has increased and my new Py dash has reduced down to 2, that means it has fallen. Consumer A consumes 8 units of X and 3 units of Y. So the new bundle, so let me name it as A dash, it will be 8,3. And consumer B consumes 4 units of good X and 9 units of good Y. So my new bundle B dash is 4, 9. And the question is given the information which of the following are correct. So essentially what we are told to see is that which of the two consumers or both of them rather satisfy the weak axiom of reveal preference. This is what we are told to find. So before moving forward let's do the same as we have done in the last part. So what is the expenditure that consumer A had to incur on this new bundle A dash? It is 3 into 8, so 24 plus 6, which is again coming to 30. And what is the expenditure that agent B had to incur on this new bundle in this new situation? It is 3 into 4, 12 plus 9 into 2, 18. So which is again 30. So in both cases, both consumers have equal expenditure in consuming the their preferred bundles in both the situations. Now, if you remember, like if I can just put it simply that what exactly what weak axiom of reveal preference? If we can just put it simply without much of a diagrammatic clutter or something. So, suppose we consider a consumer. Suppose we consider, suppose consider two bundles. Suppose consider two bundles. Let's say I call the bundles uh, bundle A and bundle B. Bundle is basically a better of goods over here. So the weak axiom of reveal preference simply says that if let's say A was purchased when B was affordable, when B was 
affordable. That means what? Suppose in a situation the consumer went on to purchase A when B was actually affordable. Then what does the then what can we say that A has been revealed preferred to B, right? So in a particular situation B was affordable but consumer went on to purchase the bundle A. Then obviously what we can say that given both of them are affordable A is revealed preferred to B. Then if in another situation if in another situation if b is purchased then a must not be affordable must not be affordable must not that means if i just put it in words once more that means suppose you consider two bundles a and b and in a particular situation that means given the prices of the goods it is evident that you will prefer bundle a to bundle b when both of them are affordable you want to choose bundle a for purchase that means you prefer bundle a to bundle b but if in some other situation where the prices of goods have changed if you end up purchasing bundle b then it must be the case that a is not affordable then only you'll go for purchasing bundle b if this kind of situations hold then only the weak axiom of reveal preference is satisfied so what do i have to check now for these two consumers so let's go consumer by consumer so for consumer a so in situation one in situation one consumer a purchases this bundle 3 comma 8 what do i have to check was the bundle a dash actually affordable in situation one if yes then what we would say that actually that a has been revealed preferred to a dash under situation one then obviously the next thing that we'll check is since in situation he has purchased a dash then a must be available i'm repeating once more in situation one a has purchased this bundle eight comma eight then we have to check whether it is also affordable or not. In situation one, so what we would so how, so um then what is it that we are trying to compare a is actually affordable or not? In situation one, and then consumer chose bundle A, and the reverse will happen in this uh, case of situation two. So let me just do the reverse cases as well. That means basically under um, under uh, let's say situation one, under situation one. What is the expenditure that uh, under situation one? What is the expenditure that agent A would have incurred if he had purchased the bundle A dash? So what would have what would it be? It will be A. Times two plus 3 times 3 right so that will be 16 plus 9 which is 25 correct now note this under situation 1 bundle a dash was affordable because if he can spend rupees 30 in purchasing bundle a he could have definitely spent 25 to afford a dash as well so in situation 1 both a and a dash are affordable and the consumer purchased bundle a what does it mean that a has been revealed preferred to the bundle a dash according to consumer a okay so let me just write it down therefore when a and a dash was affordable that means i'm talking of the situation one consumer a Purchased bundle A. That is, the bundle A has been revealed preferred to bundle A dash. This is the summary. Now we need to check whether in the new situation, since the consumer is in new situation, I mean situation two, since the consumer is purchasing A dash, is A unaffordable? Only in that case he would purchase A dash, right? Given the weak axiom. So let's check that. That under situation 2,
under situation 2. What is the expenditure that A would have incurred on purchasing bundle A? So this would be simply your um, 3 into 3 plus 8 into 2. It's the same because they have been flipped. So 16 plus 9, it is 25. Right? So now look over here. Under situation 2, when the consumer purchases A dash, what is the expenditure that he incurs? 30. But if he wanted, but he could have easily purchased bundle A as well because by that he would have to spend only 25. So even in the second situation, both A and A dash are affordable, but the consumer chooses A dash. Right? That means consumer A violates the weak axiom of reveal preference. So here also A comma A dash are affordable but consumer chooses A dash. But by the definition of what, what should have happened? That if the consumer has purchased A dash in situation 2, then it must have been the case that the bundle A would have been unaffordable under the new situation. But this is not the case because 25 is less than 30. He is spending rupees 30 to cons consume, purchase and consume bundle A dash. Then he could have definitely spent 25 to buy. Therefore, consumer A violates what? Consumer A violates the weak axiom of reveal preference. So we have got this information for consumer A. Now we will try to get the exactly similar kind of information for consumer B. Now moving on in the exact same way under situation 1, under situation 1, what is the expenditure that the agent B would have to incur if would have purchased the bundle B dash? It will be your, uh, let me just have a look at the values. My bundle B dash is 4, 9 and my prices are 2, 3. So 4 into 2, 8 and 27. So 8 plus 27 that adds up to 35. Now look over here. In initial, uh, in situation 1, he purchases bundle B and he spends rupees 30. But if he wanted to purchase 30 um, bundle B dash in situation 1, he would have to spend 35. That means clearly in situation 1, bundle B dash is unaffordable. That is when he went, in, went on to purchase bundle B. Therefore, B dash is unaffordable. Under situation 1. Hence, he chooses and now what we will see that if in situation 2, what is the expenditure that he would have incurred if he wanted to purchase bundle B. So under situation 2. What is the expenditure that he would have incurred in bundle B? So it would have been 3 into 6 plus 2 into 6. So that will add up to 18 plus 12 which is 30. So under situation 2, 18 plus 12, 30. Yeah, fine. So if he bought bundle B in situation 2, he would have spent 30. And in reality, he buys bundle B dash, in which case also he is spending 30. That means clearly when he buys B dash, B is affordable, right? So here, B comma B dash are affordable. But consumer chooses B dash. So, B dash has been revealed preferred to B, correct? And in the other situation, when the consumer purchases B, B dash was unaffordable. So, 
कंज्यूमर ए सैटिस्फाइड कंज्यूमर बी सैटिस्फाइड बॉय कंज्यूमर बी सैटिस्फाइड माय बी कैल्शियम ऑफ रिवील परफ्यूज सो व्हाट इज माय अल फाइनल आंसर ए डजंट सैटिस्फाइड एंड बी सैटिस्फाइड सो दैट इज बेसिकली माय ऑप्शन डी Okay thank you